Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, the home to close to 100 classic and collectibles. And today we're gonna to talk about a perfect, really great example of a 64 Corvette fuel injected. Give you details in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. The home to close to 100 classic and collectible cars of every sort, everywhere from classics to muscle cars to you name it, we've got it right here in stock. Visit us at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. Today we're gonna to talk about a C2, second year for the C2, a 1964 satin silver example, which is its original color, by the way, of a 1964 fuel-injected Corvette. Talk about king of the highways in these days. This thing had 375 horsepower under the hood, and this car is light. I mean, you know, all fiberglass bodies, uh, they are just <laughs> really, really a stout machine. And of course, it has the four speed with a posi rear end as well. But I'll tell you what, this is one of those cars that's done to basically NCRS top flight example quality. I mean, it is really, really beautiful. The paint on this car with the base coat clear, as I said, satin silver is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, one of those neat things about these cars, those hideaway headlights work perfectly on this car. You have to take a look. We'll just show you that right now. That is just really nice. They work perfectly. So that's always one of those little nuances on these cars that you are really happy to see that they work. Uh, again, everything about this car has been done to the finest level of restoration. Uh, I myself personally love the knockoffs, the Kelsey Hayes knockoffs with the little spinners on here with the red, white, and blue center uh, painted things right on there with the black walls. It just looks mean. This car just absolutely looks mean, just like the way it probably came from the factory. But that was a really nice high-end example of an upgrade that you could get for this car. Yeah, this car would go uh, zero to 60 in a little over six seconds. I mean, in that day and age in 1964, this is one really, really fast car. And again, when you pulled up to the next stoplight and you look over to this side and see this thing, fuel injection, oh my goodness, you knew, uh, you better be really serious if you're gonna be running for pink slips because this guy's gonna give you a really good run for the money. Uh, take a look at the inside of this car as well. Beautiful all black vinyl interior, just as it was ordered, which was kind of the standard uh, interior on these things. Really, really well preserved, and as I said, a four speed. I look at the inside and the dash pad's nice. Uh, clock is in place, AM, FM radio, and all, of course, the instruments are still as they were from the factory, which I really think is nice. Nothing has been cobbled up, nothing has been changed from the way this car came in 1964. Now, you can find all of our cars on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Give us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe. We always have interesting stories of cars such as this one. Uh, uh, many of our others that we've had in the past as well. So if you have time to look at those, I'm sure you'll find something you'll enjoy and information as well. Uh, take a look. Now, we all know that in 63 was the first year for the C1 where they had the split back window, but in 64 to make a changeover, they made it one solid window. Uh, really funny at that time, it was much more easy to look out your back window in 1964 with this. And many people in that day and age took the split window out and put in the, because it would go right into the body. I mean, nowadays, maybe that's probably not what they're gonna do, but this particular one is the way it came from the factory. I like the vents on the side that actually have some functionality for the car. Really neat, beautiful steering wheel, by the way. Oh, that is really nice, you have to take a look. Yeah, you wanna watch our entire video from start to finish because we're gonna do a cold start, more details, close-ups, things of that sort. Um, going to the back of the car, again, all the chrome is really, really nice. Dual exhaust, of course. Uh, the gas filler is right back here and your antenna as well. But the coupes were really, they made a little over 1,300 fuelies, which isn't very many of them. And I'll tell you what, this has to be one of the nicest, nicest examples we've seen in an awful long time. So if you're looking to add to your collection, you want a really top ranked, very, very high ranked uh, Corvette, 
Coop. We have got it right here at Ellingson's. You can come by personally if you want to come and take a look at it in person. We'd love to have you come by. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5. Open on Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. But uh, it's just one of those examples that we get very, you know, we, we look for this really good stuff to come into our place. And, uh, you know, this is a, a good example. Look at the underside, beautiful, all done. This car has been done to the nth degree. So if you're looking for something to add to your collection, you need a Corvette to fill in a hole, or you're looking for your first collectible car, we've got one right here at Ellingson's, and we've got a really great example right here.